for those of you who are givers and you give and you give and you give and you give to people and they don't give anything back into you, meaning they don't pour back into you, which you pour into them. Access denied. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Access is denied. No more access. That's it. When you are a giver, you got to be really, really, really careful with that. Because if you're not careful, overgiving can lead to people pleasing. And after a while, the lines will become blurred. And you don't know what is what right so we want to be really really careful with that we want to be extremely careful with that giving and giving and giving and giving to people and no one is pouring into you do you can you begin to imagine how spiritually mentally and physically drained you probably are and you don't even realize it well this is what i'm here for it's very important to know when to cut the cord baby to sever the tie you got to know when to or when a person's time is up in your life or, or when it's time to pull back and limit the access to you their access to you. you have to know when to do that because if you don't you're going to keep going and going and going and going and the only person that's going to be really affected by it is you some of y'all social batteries have died and expired a long time ago but you're still giving. You are pouring from an empty cup. How are you going to pour into somebody else from an empty cup? No mas. Finito. Be done with all of this. Okay? And please do not let the enemy get up here. And try to convince you that what you're doing is wrong. That choosing you and your well-being is wrong. Because the enemy will try to do that to you. He'll try to put these little thoughts in your head. He'll be like, well, they need you. They need you in their life. You know, what are they going to do without you? They're not, you know, like to try to make you feel bad and to make you feel pity for them. To to keep in contact. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Don't let the enemy do it. You are not their therapist. You are not their counselor. You are not their doctor. You have to choose you. I'm telling you, some people will only call you just to talk, just to, to trauma dump on you. Then once they got it off of you and it's on you now. You don't hear anything from them. Then if you're not careful, you have these people coming back to you all the time. All the time with something. Because they realize that they can put it on you now. It's going to go on you. And they'll be relieved. And you over there, stressed like you. And you wonder, like, why am I stressed and tired? They done trauma dumped on you. They done really, whatever spirits was sitting on them, they done put them on you. Uh-uh. No more. Access is denied. From this moment moving forward in your life access is denied 